I'm Melly here, gonna talk to you about the oils for sleep, oils that'll help you sleep better and sleep throughout the night. Um, this is one of my favorite topics, anything sleep dream related. So the first thing I'll, I will talk about to kind of keep this short, because I do have a lot of oils that I want to share in in about 10 minutes. Um, there, there is a lot more oils than what I'm going to mention right now. But basically what you want to look for is oils that are going to help relax your mind, relax your body, maybe help you also with any kind of issue that's keeping you up. So for example, I'll start off with the most um, common one, which is lavender. I have all of them behind here. So lavender obviously relaxes your mind, relaxes your muscles, helps create that soothing, calming environment, um, and just puts you to sleep, right? That one is, is the most common one. Um, but if, for example, you're having issues sleeping because you have a stomach ache, then on, on the physical level, I would recommend diffusing lavender as well as something that's gonna help you with your stomach aches, so peppermint or ginger. So basically the most important thing is find out why you're not sleeping well, because that'll add a different layer. If it's just that you're stressed out about something um, or the oils that I'm gonna be sharing will have, to, will have to do with certain reasons why you may be having trouble sleeping. So I hope that made sense. So, um, so the first one I mentioned, lavender, it, it also eases the tension in your body helping you calm and re and create that relaxing tone. So basically this is like my personal preference, it's my base. I usually use either just lavender or if I'm having extra trouble, I will add another layer, another oil to it to help me. Um, another thing with finding what oil will help you, so the first thing would be finding out what's keeping you up at night and um, and also the oils that will help will relax your mind and body, but also the grounding oils. So those kind of earthy tones um, will help you. If it's for the root chakra, if it's for grounding you, it'll also help you sleep. Because most of the time, the trouble that we have sleeping is because of all the mind chatter we have, the worries, concerns, and things like that. So the next one um, that I'm going to talk about is Roman chamomile. And most of these are going to have similar properties. Um, I'm not talking about the other properties that make them so great, just about the sleep qualities. Um, so Roman chamomile also comes the mind and body and it also soothes the whole body system. And um, I added this one because it also helps with feelings of moodiness and anger. So if one of the things that's keeping you up is that you just got in a fight with maybe your partner or a relative or just someone at work upset you and you need to calm that um, triggering emotion, then Roman chamomile will be good. And it also helps soothe the mind and body, so that's perfect. Um, the next one is Ylang Ylang. I won't show them all, because you can't even read them, right? We all know what they look like. Um, Ylang Ylang is more of a flowery scent, and that also helps um, more with, with stress. Um, that's one of the ones that I like combining with lavender, because you can use Ylang Ylang on its own for stress um, if you don't want to get really sleepy but um, if you combine it with lavender that'd be great too it um, and what I like about this one is you can use it as part of a massage a lot of these you can but this one that floral scent gives it even more of that spa like vibe if you want to um, rub your your shoulders or your back a little bit in a self self love self care kind of massage before the end of the or at the end of the night um, and it also promotes um, a more positive outlook on things. So if you're just kind of feeling a bit um, like stuck in a negative thought process, then that one can help you too. And they all smell so great too. One of my newer ones, um, the next one is bergamot. Now this one is a little bit more citrusy. So um, citrus, citrus oils, I tend to stay away from at night because they are more uplifting and energizing. So we don't want anything energizing us. But the reason I included bergamot is because it does um, create that sense of calm and harmony, but it also um, boosts your self-confidence. So if what's keeping you up at night is more that you're kind of doubting yourself and having that, that worry of, 
um, being unsure of things. And, you know, we all know, like, when we have those issues deciding things that kind of keep running through our mind, um, Bergamot will help us with that, will help with our self-confidence and with issues dealing with insecurity and worry. And I'm just looking at my notes because I have so many oils to mention. Um, the next one and the one I've been using a lot lately is patchouli. Now I'm getting into the more grounding oil. So this one on its own will just help ground you and um, get you stable, great for the root chakra. And this one's my favorite to combine with lavender as well. Um, that's when I really need a boost. Um, just on a, as a side note, I also added to my moisturizer because it's good with, with skin care and, and reducing blemishes. Um, and then I also, as I put it as a nightly routine um, for my moisturizer, then I kind of have that scent with me. So it helps me sleep and it's a win-win. A um, so patchouli also helps balance emotions as well as grounding, um, grounding them. So grounding you to the present moment so you're not really thinking too much in your head, thinking of future, past, all over the place. It'll help you ground to the present moment. And then you can sleep. So the next grounding one would be cedar wood. And I like calling these oils um, dream elixirs. I just think it sounds cool. But <laughs> they, they help you sleep and, and help with different areas that can prevent you from sleeping. I already said that. <laughs> but cedarwood is also very grounding and brings um, peaceful feelings um, as well as help you unwind at the end of the day. So like I said, some will be kind of repetitive um, properties because these are the properties that will help you help you clear your mind a bit before bed. Siberian fur. This is also very grounding. Um, if, you, if you smell any of these, they have kind of like that that common uh, scent to it. I shouldn't say common because they're not, they're completely different, but they have that earthy, woodsy scent to it. And um, Siberian fur is also grounding and balancing and um, helps soothe those anxious feelings um, and, and nervousness. So I've been using it a lot just throughout the day to, to calm my mind and, um, and just, it, I've noticed that it's helping me focus on my tasks and then when I'm ready for bed, it helps me, you know, unwind and focus on going to sleep. <laughs> um, this one's too far. Um, the next one is vetiver. And um, this one, I feel like it's the most grounding because it literally, is, I, don't, I personally don't really like it. I just got it to, to try it out. Um, I think the scent is a little too strong for me personally, but it, a, a lot of people I've heard really do like it. And vetiver is, um, it's, it's very, yeah, it just smells very earthy, like more than the other ones. Um, so that one will definitely give you that quick boost to grounding you. So if you're way up here, it'll help ground you almost immediately, I feel personally. Um, so I do use it when my mind gets super, super spacey. Um, and it has that calming effect on the emotions like the other ones. Um, so yeah, I consider it the most grounding one of the oils. Um, the next one is, should have brought them closer to me, rosemary. So rosemary, and I, I did the, a live just on rosemary um, last month, I believe. And this one reduces nervous tensions and stress um, and also blends well with, with lavender. But like I said, most of them do. And those are the single oils I wanted to mention. Um, the blend that I'm going to talk about is um, probably expected this one, Serenity. So this, um, this one includes about half of the oils I mentioned. It has, uh, let me see if I wrote that down, lavender, cedar wood, ylang ylang, um, Roman chamomile, vetiver, and... Um, it also has other ones like sandalwood um, and uh, ma ma marjoram. But yeah, so it has about five of the ones that I mentioned. So those five you can use individually or if you want just a super big boost, you can have um, Serenity, which was made for the reasons of helping you sleep at night. And um, this one in particular also helps me stay asleep throughout the night. Um, 
see what else I wanted to share. So, okay, so um, th on moving more on the first thing that I mentioned about finding out what's keeping you up at night. Um, for example, if you're having, um, what am I trying to say? Issues like PMS symptoms, like for the women. Um, a blend that I really like to use that I've had clients ask me for, and they actually, they're the ones that told me that it helped them sleep at night, is clary sage and geranium, because that is a hor hormone balancing um, oil. So if people are dealing with symptoms with menopause or PMS cramps, and that's the reason why it's keeping you up at night, I found that not only does it help with balancing the hormones so that they can um, reduce those symptoms, but then as a result of those symptoms going away, then they sleep better at night. So that's why it's super important to find out why it, um, you're having trouble sleeping. I mean, I personally, I use lavender all the time, and when I find that it's not working, it's because there's something else. Either I ate something, um, like for tummy aches, I would use peppermint um, or ginger. and or just an overall, if you're just your emotions all oh, all over the place, you're feeling moody and sad and all over the place, just the balance blend would also help. Um, so that is what I had for you ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, and uh, another thing that I'll mention with these oils, you can either diffuse them, you can smell them just from the bottle cap. I kind of make it like a little ritual after I journal. I'll smell it, take a few deep breaths, um, think about what I'm grateful for, just kind of shift my mindset from the day of working on the go, being behind the computer, and create that transition into having a, a soothing environment for my, my sleep time, my dream time. Um, you can also apply them to the soles of your feet, um, properly diluted, and or to, um, you can apply some of them to different areas like your temples, if you're having headaches and um, things like that, but I prefer the soles of the feet. Um, and you can also create like a little spray bottle. You can add a couple of these if you want to mix and match. Add a couple of um, drops of each, not all the ones I mentioned, but the ones you want to work on, and then just spray it in your room. Create your own uh, dream time spray that'll help you fall asleep using the oils that you want. So I hope this helps, and if anybody has any questions on other tips for sleep, then you can just leave me a comment or message me. Um, so yeah, I will talk to you next time. Bye.